four days of recommendations and knowledge exchange by the Teaching Service Commission Sierra Leone and stakeholder institutions in the academic sector, including representatives from both the Education Ministries, NCTVA, representatives from different learning institutions and more aimed towards content mapping for open and distance learning programs in the country. Ezekiel Noni is the manager of teaching performance of the Teaching Service Commission Sierra Leone. He gives an overview of the workshop. For the past four days, um, especially working with people who um, are there to manufacture or produce teachers for us, and uh, they were excited to receive the news about the open and distance learning. We need to even go further than just doing open and distance learning, but to create a policy, a digital policy, that will guide our teaching and learning process, that will guide our teachers as to how they develop themselves. Konrad Saki is the Minister of Basic and Senior Secondary Education. He affirms their support as a ministry towards the vision of introducing and enhancing the open and distance learning system in the country, pinpointing a few recommendations towards the success of the open and distance learning drive. Taking into consideration some of the new things that we've talked about, the new developments in terms of AI and all of these things, do we need to review the national policy of open and distance learning to now take consideration to reflect some of these new developments? Emphasizing on the relevance of such move as a country, Komba Moiva, Verification Officer, National Council for Technical Vocational and Other Academic Awards, NCTVA. He notes that even though Sierra Leone lags behind in open and distance learning in the world, its introduction now is timely, looking at the number of people recently developing interest in learning with limited space to accommodate them all. Well, it's very much important because, as the Minister rightly said, um, there's a huge number of students who are eligible for admission into high institutions, but unfortunately we don't have the space to accommodate all of them. So open distance learning is a very viable alternative that makes it possible for people to access higher education without physically being on location. Open and distance learning helps to meet challenges of access and equity to higher education for large segments of the population and disadvantaged groups. Therefore, such venture is considered a step forward. Joseph Adumambu, AYV News, Freetown.